that's groceries done. Now let's get this all put away before she gets home from work. Ooh, we should make tacos tonight. I think we have everything we need. Oh, angel text. Must be on her lunch break or something. I'm coming home. Uh, are you okay? Should I come get you? No, I'm getting an Uber. I'll be home soon. What the? She must be sick or something. She never misses work, let alone come home in the middle of the day. Uh, I guess I'll find out when she gets here. Hey, what's going on? You never leave work early, let alone without any notice. Are you sick? Is there an accident? Okay, good. Good, good, good. At least you're feeling okay, but you still don't look good. Maybe sit down? You look like you're about to keel over. Oh, okay, just tell me what happened. Clearly something's going on. Are you taking some time off? Ugh, laughter isn't really telling me anything. You're starting to freak me out here. What happened before you sent that text? You are taking some time off. A lot of time off. Indefinite time. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. They didn't give you any kind of notice this was going to happen? I mean, I know you've been talking about a lot of big stuff happening at work lately, and you've been worried about your job, but this still seems pretty out of the blue. Uh-huh. Oh. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot to be told right after getting back from a lunch break. Did you at least get to finish your lunch? Well, at least there's that. I'm sure it feels really weird being home right now. You'd built all these routines around work and when you went in and when you left, your days off, your sleep schedule, your meals, planning when we'd go shopping or stay out. Now that's kind of all out the window, huh? It's normal to feel helpless or like your world exploded in an instant because, well, it sort of did. You built so much there. It was a job, sure, but you built relationships with the people you worked with. You mean you, you had responsibilities and work that you took pride in doing well or... You know, at least feeling accomplished at getting it done. Now it can feel like the rug got yanked out from under you. I know you'd mentioned all these things going on. You know, like tasks you were responsible for. You know, stuff that you had to get done in coming days and weeks. But, but now it just ended without you being able to plan for it. Or even consider what would come next. It makes sense to feel like you don't know what to do, since all your plans got cancelled at once. I mean, you were also there for a long time. It became part of your identity. When people asked about your job, you had something to tell them. You had a little title and position. So it's normal to feel like you lost part of your identity, you know? I know you had a lot of frustrations and stress from it, but I mean, it was still kind of a part of you. Okay. Well, you ready to hear a couple of bright sides? A couple of silver linings? 
I can understand if you're not just yet, but I mean, there are at least a few things that might bring a smile. All right, well, for one, you get to sleep in again, right? No more early wake-ups and long commutes. You can just enjoy your mornings. Have breakfast without being in a rush. You don't need to pack your lunches to bring and make your travel cups of caffeine to bring. Yeah, right? And for another, all those plans we've been wanting to make, you know, maybe travel a bit more or go enjoy some events around town, they're a lot easier to do now. You don't need to run it by your boss and hope you can get the time off you need. You won't have to be the one to miss out because you have to work or cover for someone. We can go visit your parents. You can get out of the city, even just go out for lunch because we want to. Don't need to wait weeks to enjoy ourselves. Yeah, money is a thing to think about. But I don't want it to be the only thing you worry about now. We're going to be okay. Have some time to figure out what happens next. Don't, don't start panicking about money when we don't need to be. Any considerations or plans about money can... Wait for another day that isn't today. For today, I want you to take it easy and be kind to yourself. You've been through a big thing without any notice, and it's, you know, it's changed a big part of your world. It's going to take time for your brain to catch up to what just happened. Right now, you're basically in shock. The world changed, and it may not really hit you for a couple of days, so, you know, for right now, just feel whatever you're feeling. We can watch stuff together, go for a walk, get some food, or just sit and have a cuddle. And if you need alone time, I'll happily set you up with whatever snacks you want and let you have your you time, okay? Just whatever your brain decides you need right now. <laughs> that sounds perfect, Angel. We can deal with logistics and plans of what's next another day. Right now, you take care of yourself. Mentally, physically, everything. Hey, I'm here for whatever you need.